To find a victim's time of death at a crime scene, we can use Newton's law of cooling. A crime scene investigator arrives at the scene of a murder at 1 o'clock p.m. and immediately takes the temperature of the dead body and the room. The body is 76 degrees Fahrenheit and the room is 53 degrees. After two hours, the temperature of the body is measured again to be 64 degrees Fahrenheit. To solve this problem, we use the formula T of T equals Tm plus T0 minus Tm e to the power of negative kT, where Tm equals the temperature of the surroundings, T0 equals the initial temperature, and T equals time. Using the word problem, we find that Tm equals 53 degrees, T0 equals 76 degrees, and T equals 2. The equation is set equal to the final temperature, 64. Then isolate the variable. We get 0 0.3688 equals k. With this value for k, we create a new equation, this time using 76 degrees as our final temperature and 98.6 degrees, the average temperature of the human body, as the initial temperature. We then solve for t. We get 1.8558 equals t. Therefore, time of death is approximately 1.8558 hours before 1 o'clock p.m., or using conversion factors, we find that time of death is 11.09 a.m. We can also show the solution graphically by graphing the second equation that was found along with horizontal lines on y equals 98.6 and y equals 76. By calculating the intercepts of the lines and finding the differences between their x values, we get the same answer. We can also model and estimate answers in a table using the same equation that was graphed and plugging in values for t. When t is 0, the answer is 98.6 degrees. When t is 1, the answer is 84.5 degrees. When t is 0, the answer is 74.8 degrees. When t is 3, the answer is 53. The value of 76 degrees is somewhere between t equals 1 and t equals 2, being closer to the latter. Therefore, we can estimate that the time of death is almost 2 hours before 1 o'clock p.m. or around 11 o'clock a.m.